morning, y'all. It is Monday. It's 7.07. Yeah, they're like power plants for electricity. Um, yes. That's a reservoir. It's when it rains, that fills up with water. school by 8 30 for bpk and i got an appointment at nine i think and then yeah so ah why does this keep doing that we will get there right at right on time i had to stop and get gas gas is more expensive over here so i'm gonna put ten dollars in and then i'm gonna fill up over there Friday it's just me talking and sometimes I'm like should I even post this like what am I even talking about <laughs> and um I'll still post it and whatever but like today I'm just gonna be doing some errands over there gotta make some phone calls about seeing to get her transferred back over here I gotta submit a couple applications over there I will hopefully update y'all throughout the day. Hey y'all. So I'm going to sell out for a little bit just because I got the time. Um, so as y'all know from my last video, there were some concerns with the baby's heart rates and everything. Or not heart rates, but like with their hearts overworking. And you know. The grandparents and my ex-boyfriend know about the concerns they're having, okay? And it just dawned on me, you know, like, so when I moved out, nobody would help me move a thing, and my mom got pissed off and started running her mouth. They called the police, whatever, whatever. Police pretty much said, like, mm, a little bit of name calling, like, suck it up, like, she's pregnant. I mean, whatever. You know, I'm high risk. You know, it's twins. You know, I'm already contracting. You know, I'm having pains. Like, you know the circumstances. You know, I just went to the hospital for it. Everything. Okay? And then, you know, I have an appointment and find out that their hearts are not doing good. And then later that day, or even maybe the next day, I go to pick up some more of my belongings. And again, nobody would fucking help me. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just saying, I don't think they'll check up on the kids today because they really don't give a fuck. But um, if they do, am I wrong to be like, like, you have no right to check up on my kids when you know we've been, they have been struggling and y'all still would not lift a fucking finger to help me. Fuck y'all. Y'all ain't shit to these kids. I promise you that. That's how I feel. So, if, if anybody checks up on him, I assume it's going to be his mother. Um... And then I have to make the decision to either say how I feel or ignore her. So, 
I need to get some advice from somebody level-headed. Because, I mean, I'm level-headed, but, like, how are you finna act like you're so concerned about these babies, but still not help me move anything? Like, your fucking son can sit there on his ass like damn Princess Polly and talk to the same girls he's been cheating on me with since uh, or, uh, December. But you're concerned about the babies. That just popped up in my head. I hope, I just hope they'd leave me alone. Cause like, these people don't know me. Like Aaron said, we rushed into things. I agree with him. Now that I'm looking out, like on the outside, they don't fucking know me. And I just hope they leave me alone. Cause I got a lot to figure out. I gotta figure out. They wanted me to give them back car seats. Like they're gonna have the kids more than me or something. I don't know. They're smoking fucking crack, they think. I don't. <laughs> yeah. I just started thinking of this because I pulled up to my appointment and I'm like not trying to it's just like the audacity how can you sit there and say you care about these kids in my womb 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 and you know they're not doing good because I've been stressing, overworking, doing too much, not having no help. You know that. You know that's what's causing these issues. Because up until up until um, Aaron and I broke up, they've been perfectly fine. Other than the fact that the girl is measuring 9% when she needs to be at 10% one person off seriously that's not it's because there's two of them but don't tell me you care when you don't or don't act like you care when your actions don't match your words you know so yeah that's that. That's a little bit of tea and a little bit of background so y'all kind of know what's going on. Because I ain't, I mean, I'm doing great. You know, I am happy. I am blessed. I am doing good without, with not being together. But when you, I, I ain't going for all that bullshit. You ain't finna, mm -mm. don't ask about my kids, please. Don't. And I don't necessarily feel, I don't feel like I can trust them because they're fucking bullies. But, um, y'all know the deal. They're fucking petty. They see this, they're going to hold it against me and, um, use it for whatever the fuck they think they can, which I don't really care because at the end of the day, I'm doing what I feel necessary to protect me and my babies so um yeah that's that but um yeah I'm about to work on this little math review thing I got a test today I think and um yeah I'll update y'all after my appointment with little information because it's not their business and I don't want them to be able to keep tabs on me or my kids so that's that call it petty if you want but that's what it is um yeah so anyways um I will talk to y'all in a little bit and yeah hey y'all it is like a while later I think I last updated y'all at like nine before my appointment and it's now 
3.20. Um, and like I said, mommy is texting me. I didn't even reply. Because I want to just to be like, this is why y'all are not being updated on my kids. But my mom and some other folks have said that no response is the best response. So right now I'm running around. I need to go to Lorelai's daycare and pick up a letter from them. And then I need to, what else do I need to do? I need to go to UPS or FedEx and print some stuff out. I just checked my blood sugar. It was like 78, I think, or 74. And I'm surprised because I added like cheese Danish or something. Some like, I don't know, it was good though. It was like biscuity kind of. Or like bready with some raspberry stuff on top and like some cream cheese or something. I don't know. Is that a Danish? Does it sound like a Danish to y'all? And I had a chocolate donut. So, I'm surprised my blood sugar is not, was not sky high. But I'm about to pull up to the daycare. Get this liar. And then I will update y'all in a little bit.